So again, thanks for tuning in to the Jazz Gallery fundraiser. Please donate. It's a great cause. And uh, I'm going to continue on with the music here. I don't have a real clear plan here for what I'm going to play. I'm going to kind of be playing tunes that pop into my head. Um, I do have a list here of some possibilities. Uh, again, that was She by George Shearing. And uh, I'm going to continue with another one of my favorite tunes. This is um, often played as a ballad. Actually, I'm not sure how I'm going to play it. This is My One and Only Love.
Again, thanks for tuning in. My name is Mark Davis. It's a pleasure to be here at the Jazz Gallery. I, I do want to thank Mark Lawson and Steve Tilton and, and our sound people here who are putting this together for us. This is a, a great event. And um, we're trying to raise some funds for the Jazz Gallery to get a new sound system and some recording equipment. I think it's a, a, a absolutely wonderful uh, idea to do this. It's going to be a great benefit to the Jazz Gallery, but it's going to be a great benefit to the entire community, to our students and our musicians. So please, uh, please donate. I, I hope you'll be able to do that. And uh, I'm going to continue playing some of my favorite tunes for you. Uh, I think I'll continue with something by George Gershwin. This is a great standard called Love Walked In.
right, thank you. Uh, I mentioned some of the uh, great artists who have played at the Jazz Gallery over the years, and um, it's really, this is a historic spot for Milwaukee. It, it's, um, I'm so, so happy that, that the gallery continues on after all these decades of great music here and um, continues to be an important part of music in our community. I, I'm talking a lot about music, but it, the Jazz Gallery, of course, is also a central spot for, for visual artists as well. And, and, and so if that's your interest, which happens to be one of my other interests, I encourage you to, to support this place. Uh, I'm going to play a, one of my favorite ballads. This is called Polka Dots and Moonbeams. And uh, it's one of those tunes that's been recorded by many, many different artists over the years. But um, there's a particular recording that I uh, especially like. It was um, a recording that Buddy Montgomery made. And Buddy Montgomery was, uh, as many of you know, um, one of the great jazz musicians that resided here in Milwaukee. I was a little bit too young to have um, been able to hear Buddy while he was living here, although I did have some chances to hear him when he would return for concerts and, and visits and whatnot. And um, he is another artist who played right here on this very stage, Buddy Montgomery, one of the great uh, pianists and also vibraphonists in the history of the music. And uh, he has a recording of Polka Dots and Moonbeams that I really like, so have to give a little credit where credit is due here that I've have some uh have been inspired by him uh, in this particular uh, approach to this tune polka dots and moonbeams
know there's a lot of good tunes out there to play in a better look at my watch here because i'd love to go all night but i'll do a few more and i'm looking forward to um hearing a couple of uh, milwaukee's finest musicians a couple of great friends of mine theo merriweather and ethan bender will be playing in uh, just a little bit so please stick around if you're checking this out um, please tell your friends text your friends call your friends tell people they should check out the live stream tonight and uh, they should support the jazz gallery center for the arts i'm going to continue with uh, a tune written by uh, rogers and hart and this is uh, i didn't know what time it was
right, well, thank you. Uh, I think I have time for maybe just uh, one more quick tune. And uh, again, I just want to thank uh, everybody at the Jazz Gallery, Mark Lawson and Steve Tilton, and, and everybody who's involved here. This is a wonderful place. It's an important place. It's, it's essential to uh, Milwaukee's art scene, both visual arts and uh, musical, and uh, particularly important, I feel, to our jazz community and to uh, educating young jazz artists. I mentioned earlier I'm involved with the Milwaukee Jazz Institute. I serve as the artistic director, and uh, we hold classes here uh, and ensembles. And this is a place right here on this stage where young musicians and uh, adult musicians are, are learning more about the tradition of jazz, and it's important that we have this place to, to keep this going. And a new sound system and recording equipment is going to be incredible, and I'm excited about it. So please, please donate. Please support the cause. Uh, and again, stay tuned. we got Theo Merriweather and Ethan Bender waiting in the wings, and uh, I'm looking forward to hearing them play. So uh, I'm going to close things out here with one more uh, tune. This is, again, I mentioned earlier, Barry Harris, one of uh, my uh, musical inspirations. He's one of the great pianists. Uh, he happens to be a pianist who performed here at the gallery years ago. Uh, Barry Harris wrote a tune called Around the Corner, and uh, I'll be closing things out here with that composition, a favorite of mine. Thanks again. Thanks for tuning in.